Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Hey, there's Shadow Me. Uh, we're going hiking, Nancy and I are exploring more than hiking. Right across the river there is a big area called the Flats. But what I want to do is make it to the top of there. And then look down on the bus from the top of there. I don't know how, how high up that is, but I think I can make it up there. And that's my plan. I'm sure Nancy will just be playing around. She'll probably be up there with me. She's less afraid of heights than I am. And she's ready to go. Yeah, climbing versus flat versus downhill. Yeah. I used to adjust mine a lot. Yeah. And I don't yeah. remember my center number, but I think it was 115. We're going to go up a little bit to cross? Yeah, I thought that was the plan. Okay. Ready? Yep. Follow you. Yeah. I was going to say up quite a bit further if I was going to get in. I thought it looked like it stayed shallow all the way across here. Yeah, it's Wanna Do go you want first? Me to go first so that I can see how shallow it is? Either go first or second, I don't it's care. Right across here. Yeah. It's not up here, it looks a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little bit, yeah. Yeah, just at the very edge of where it starts to get rocky is where I was thinking, right where you're going. I think I'm going to want to have my pole, so I'm going to want to set the camera down to cross it. It's going to be cold as hell is the worst it's part. It's going to be cold, but I feel like it's... You feel upstream where it's... There he is! God, I hope I can go across faster than this because I can't handle the cold water that long. She's a boss compared to me. Her and Connor had a contest last year. And she just stood in it. I made it about 20 seconds. Connor made it a couple minutes and I think Nancy spent like nine minutes out there just looking at rocks. Make it to the snow. Made it across uh, way quicker than Nancy. <laughs> wow, my feet did not like that though. Uh -huh. They're my freezing. Feet my feet, it does. 
cold's not really a thing for me. I guess, I don't know, maybe so many years of going barefoot. I don't know. Constantly. I mean, I've taken the garbage out. When we lived in Elk River, I took the garbage out barefoot in the winter. Yeah. I, I went I'm fast. <laughs> but halfway through, I was like, wow, I'm glad I'm going this fast. This starting to hurt. By the time I got to the end, I'm like, yeah, I couldn't have gone any slower. I would have had to jog. I kept my pants dry, so. And I have a hiking boots in my backpack and a clean, dry pair of socks. So I'll switch out and uh, there's the bus. Not too far away at all. Here's where we crossed. This is what they call flats in Colorado, which is still a hill. This was all covered with snow. Like the tippy top of that one over there was when we got here. That was all, just all of this, this was all. just covered in that snow. I have one in my bag, but oh. not that that's easy to get to. Yeah. Should be on my belt. But I don't, I think anything here we can just wave our spectacles around and yell, ah, like crazy people, and they'd probably be like, okay, bye. Let my stuff dry out before crossing the river to get back to the bus. But uh, I got hiking boots on now. Hiking boots are a way better option for me. Nancy likes those barefoot shoes, and I don't mind a lighter weight shoe and I had a Merrill shoe last year that I kind of like but uh yeah I'm back to the Timberlands on my feet. This looks flat. The bus is way down there. It feels like I've been climbing the whole way. I really haven't even started to climb. The back side of that looks quite easy. Might take it the long way though, all the way from over there. I've been carrying mine the whole time. I haven't touched the ground with yeah, them since. I've been carrying mine. I haven't even shortened mine. I'm just carrying them long. I'm out of breath. I scrambled up it so I could video you going up it. I forgot. Damn elevation. You didn't get them out of the way when you peed, did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to stand quietly. <laughs> this is like my favorite part. I remember the first time we came to Colorado, we were on the front range. And that's when I was really reminded that we're in a freaking desert because I did not anticipate cactuses with big honking spines in Colorado. Yeah. Just shows how unfamiliar we are with our own land, isn't it? Hey, there's the bus. I think we have to actually start climbing now. So I'm going to put the camera down and put my poles on instead of carrying them this little way. She's already done it. Because that's what's next. 
Not that we haven't steadily been climbing, but. Yeah, it's just been so gradual. You don't even notice it. Yeah, that's part of a hip. Yeah. Probably a femur or something. Some sort of leg bone. Actually. That one there. Okay, this is the other hip. We made it to the top. I don't know what I'm supposed to look at snowy peaks. I see some that way. I see some that way. Those are like deep snowy peaks off that way, aren't they? But we made it to the top. It's not where I want to be. I want to be over there. I'll just switch the camera around here. I wanted to be there because the bus is just, peeking out just yep, yeah, just barely peeking out down there. But we're above there, we made it up to where we wanted to. And what's funny is this road here then disappears behind that mountain and comes over here. Well, it doesn't come out over here, it starts over here. Yeah, it starts over here now that I look at the it. East. Yeah. It's even higher than this one. I know, but it looks like it's more stepped up. You think that one's McConnell with the snow on it there? Yeah, I believe so. Looking okay. at my map because I know that we can't, we're not that far from Mount Park. Yeah. And it's just right around that corner, but from on the road it's like four or five twisty turns. Yeah. But here it's just, it goes this way and that way and this way and that way and I'm pretty sure that's McConnell. Wow, that's not even the one. That's the one. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. I don't wanna go up and down. I'm gonna go up to that one. I don't know how many up and downs I'm gonna go. There's my beautiful wife way back there. Hey, there's somebody at our gate. Always. I wonder where they're fishing. Usually people who stop at our gate are fishing in the river somewhere along the fishing down there somewhere. I have to keep going down to go up. It's always down to go up. Down and up, down and up. you Mike. The rocks just kind of changed. And I saw some of these irony ones down below, but they're almost all irony. There. 
Where is the bus? There's the campground. There's a big truck. I should not be doing this with you. We've come this far together. Get up to the ledge. Oh, there's the bus. So I'm over here with the empty bag. It's way over there. I don't know how I love talking and climbing and stuff like that. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Do you see all this behind me? And in front of me. It's beautiful and it's windy. Oh, it's windy. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me because he's, oh wait, no, we didn't bring the regular camera along. I didn't want to bring the expensive, the expensive camera actually probably cost less than my phone, but wait, no, it was actually more than my phone. Probably not less than an iPhone though. There it is. Can get these poles put away. Let's see if we can find Nancy. She's way up over there. Trying to come up and around those two. That's the one I should have just stopped at, but it's not where I wanted to go. Set you down, I'll be right back. The FedEx guy with the 4x4 Dodge Ram that's always just full of mud. That'd be a fun job up here in the mountains, but. I think we came up on what would be the left here, but I don't, I think it might be kind of switched back. And I think it's kind of all the same. All the same. Yeah. Looks more impressive from here. <laughs> Realizing you're way above me and not that far away from me. <laughs> Without these poles? No, I was born afraid of everything. <laughs> I have to do it, even when I'm afraid of it.
we keep going off the other side? I love it. It's beautiful. And wow, that was way easier coming down. <laughs> now we can head out to the flats. Coming down was way easier than going up. There are a lot of garbage. Oh. We hiked along there and up there. Right there is where an auntie stopped. Then hiked I hiked along there and along there and out to there. Looked at the bus and hiked back and then came out onto that little thing, looked around, and hiked back to Nancy and ate lunch. Then we came back down and moseyed across here. Warmer down here. Much warmer down here. It's not that hard to do. The brakes are pure bright. Blue and red. You can see them. You know where you stand it. You know where you're shooting. Whole different land over here, way hotter than the wind we had up there. $250 fine. I think the fine value has gone up since then. Because there was one from like the 1930s in Granby. Oh, yeah, that was late. A, yeah, it had like a $200 fine. Scramble up the side of it. Place to sit before a tree fell over. Yeah. Pepsi. Come on, people, let's drink beer out here. Oh, look at that. That looks more like bear. No. Old. Like, I mean, I suppose it could be, but it looks like when moose poop, it's all soft and smooshy together at the beginning of spring. Well, it's not, obviously it's not from this spring. Yeah, is there moose down here? No, I think it's mule deer. I think they do the same thing. Mm. When their diet changes and they go from eating the dry stuff to the wet stuff, moose poop gets into these big pumps. And then that, instead of individual pieces, and then when it's wet, Start like a documentary series, what the poop. Just to describe different poop you find. <laughs> Probably more people interested in that than you realize actually. Probably. It'd be helpful to have somebody tell me what the poop is. Ow. You just stepped on a cactus. Mm -hmm. I could feel that. Some more reason to look down while you walk. Step on a cactus. Hiking boots help too. Yeah, but then you can't feel the earth together. There's no control. There's people. Yeah, people. We should get behind the trees. I think I'm going to cold plunge into that today. If we get across it in time. Otherwise, tomorrow. But look at all that ice still. I thought you'd be able to see the bus from here, but we're. We're still up around the corner. Look how deep that gets. Wow. 
we made it. We're back to my shoes. So I can cross back across the river. Nancy will just wear her same ones across, but uh, I made it up there. So I got to see the bus from up there. Nancy made it back up that way somewhere. And a lot of garbage. I found a flip-flop that I'll bring back with me to throw in the garbage. I don't know how many hours we've been out here. What time is it now, even? 2.30. What time we come out here? 10.15? 10.30? Yeah. Fun solid four plus hours. I'm ready to eat. Got an extra? Thank you. You should sit down. I don't think so. Ooh, fall down, baby. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. Bye.